What is up people, Chronicle here. Welcome to a new game on my series. As you can see it's called Moonlighter. Now I have heard very little and seen very little of this game, but from what I know you play as a shopkeeper during the day and a badass treasure hunter at night that kills uh, monsters and other worldly beings to collect the, the loot and then uh, sell it in your shop. Now the art style itself kind of reminds me of uh, some retro Nintendo style game so I actually like that uh, aesthetic. So without any further ado, let's jump into this Moonlighter video game. Now I am playing on the PC using my uh, PS4 controller. New game. Alright, let's start a new game here. Oh, okay. So hard is recommended. Let's go for it. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. Ooh. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They call them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rhinoka. Among the cellars, two groups shined brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous, they were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Hmm. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the older shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Fifth door of the dungeons. Okay, so that must be our goal. Opening the fifth door. Well, it looks like we're starting off in a dungeon. Is that okay? It's teaching us how to play. Uh, pushing all the other buttons, but okay. So left, left trigger is to dive roll, roll dive. Sort of like a grid kind of place. Okay. So you have to dodge over gaps. But okay, that did not work. Maybe you have to do it like here? Oh, okay. So you can dodge three enemies. Dodge. Dodge. And now we can whack things. What are these? It must be health files. Uh, funnel them three. Let's collect their jellies. Bet there's nothing in these pots. Okay, so X is to do like a mega charge. Okay, that didn't really work out for me. A to open? What's this? Foundry rests? Uh, what's this? Broken sword. Quick move. That's handy. What's in here? Fabric and water lamp. Interesting. What is that? Okay. Oh, that was a... That was a nice dodge. Oh my gosh, look how many enemies there are. Man, I'm being flogged. What is this? Why is there still more coming out? Bam. I don't think you're supposed to win this by <laughs> battle. Okay. Was that supposed to happen? I think so. Who's this guy? 
I thought my character was old, just judging from like the art style, but <laughs> seems to be a young guy. Xenon, what a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will? I have you now. Okay, so it's taking us. Oh, he already has taken us into his shop. What a nice guy. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Oh, this must be our uh, writings. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. I am going to unlock the fifth door. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. What? The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Ooh, is that a sword and shield? Now then, get up. You are wasting light? Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your head. Your hard head, some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Teach me the ways, Xenon. So what are these crystals? Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value, as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. So I'm sure we just go here. Hold to open the shop. Oh, we have people. Yes, buy the floating crystal. A hundred dollars. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Well, the price went up, 170. He ain't gonna buy that. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and lower. Oh, what? Charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Okay, high demand, low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Uh, the Y button, okay. Crystallized energy. Selling and reactions. Okay, so a hundred seems to be rather decent. But there is another thing there. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more per perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use the pendant, boy. What's this pendant he's talking about? Go on now, these worry brains of mine must rest. So how do I shield? What is this? Dungeons. Hello. Ranoka, what a town. Guess we better head straight to the dungeons then. Wait, I got real quiet. <laughs> 
dungeon entrances this way. Can we break this stuff? Okay, you can't break the ones with the metal. Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Oh, looks like that's the only one we can go into. Enter. Now, I think I heard that these are procedurally generated. So every time we come in here, it's possibly different. Alright, let's see what we've got in here. I didn't see any doors or anything so to leave. Okay, what do we got? Slime creatures! Oh, wow, we do. Mad damage. I guess you hold it. This button to defense. Slice. I didn't see no chests or anything, so let's keep going. Now, how do I heal? Oh, frick. I got slapped. Try quickly, not without fear. Okay, I've got 38 HP. Oh, okay, there's a health vial on the right trigger. I only just saw that now. What's this thing? Just aesthetics. I'm gonna figure out what's the optimal way to defeat these. Okay, we need a. Uh, sort this thing out. There we go. Give me the goods. Okay, there we go. Might take me a little while to get used to this. Let's heal up a little bit. Uh, why did it seal? Sticks here. Read. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. What? My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though, I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Some old crazy Pete. Dungon lost his marvels. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Ranoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be here and around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Ranoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. So that's Pete. That's like his father. Or something. Big boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. Okay, so we need the four keys. One, two, three, four. To open the fifth door. What? Coin. Oh, okay, so we need maximum coinage. Oh, okay, I get it. So you hold that button, that's the pendant. I thought that was like the money bag. That teleports us back here. Oh, that's cool. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found old Pete. Dead? See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. 
Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Ranoka. Nice indeed. Okay, so we have to fund these people. Let's go check out that nurse board. Investments. Town, I guess. Five, oh man. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials, a forge to be reckoned with. Okay, so you got a forge and Spree Force getting you nowhere in the dungeons. Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments. Okay, that's quite useful. Oh my gosh, 20,000, 70,000. Expand sale. Shop level 1. Oh man. Seems like quite a, quite a bit here that we can do. I guess we better head back to our shop. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's that map that we found. Hold to sleep. We got a chest. We should probably um put some of this stuff away. Rich jelly. Crystallized. Not sure what we're supposed to do with these roots. I'm just gonna chuck them in into here for now. You know what? Let's try and sell something. Golem core. We will sell one golem core for how much? Uh, if this thing is, let's just. That's just a hundred. And what's this? Water sphere. Right, let's go hardened steel. This looks like a, a fifty dollar item. And let's try. Let's try water sphere. This also looks like a fifty dollar item. All right. Let's see. How we do? Hello there, old man. Come look at these wares I got. Okay, so a hundred seems to be a good price for the golem thingy. Oh wow! So fifty is a a bargain, apparently. Come buy my other things. Oh, no one's gonna buy that um crystal thing. Can I change the price of it? Let's change that down to 110. Put it on discount. Oh, is this person gonna buy it? Okay, so 110 is a safe range. Thank you. How do I close the shop? <laughs> well, I'm assuming they all just leave because I sold everything. Or not. You know what? Let's keep let's keep going. Um, well, I sold this for a hundred. So let's try. Let's try 150. And let's try a hundred for this. So this crystallized energy we know we can sell let's try let's try 100 and 130 and teeth stone no idea what this thing is uh 100 let's see how this goes oh okay we need to change that. I should probably look in the book and uh, see what the demands is like for this. But let's just try this method. Oh, what? They don't like that price. There's only like a few 
Okay, so he'll he'll pay a hundred for that. Interesting. Let's uh, bring down the price of this crystal. Whoa, who are you? Okay, a hundred seems to be a bit too much. You're gonna buy both of them? I'm making cash now. What has that person got on their back? Like wheat or something. Okay, it's, it's too pricey. Let's do 120. And iron bars, I reckon... A solid 50. What? Even these are... Too expensive at 50? Let's try 30. Oh my goodness, I'm not doing well here. Looks like a hundred is like the max. What? Fifty is too expensive? Guess I'm still trying to work out the uh... The values. Balance. Okay, so we got 630. Not bad. Popularity. Hasn't really changed. It's not bad. Not bad effort. Can we open this? Let's have a look at the uh, the book thing. My right trigger is not working for some reason. Oh, that's weird. All right, I think we'll go uh, dungeon diving one last time before we finish this episode. Let's just have a look around here. Masa, my son, when I find you. Oh, Will, have you seen Masa around by chance? So someone's missing. You. Ronoka might not be as prosperous as it used to be, but many still visit to pick up a souvenir from the Golem dungeon. Possibly even one from the closed dungeons if we are lucky. Alright, let's head to that dungeon and get ourselves some loot. Now we only have two vials, so we've got to be careful. Let's head on in here. Getting some vibrations. Alright, so it is procedurally generated. Okay. I thought I took damage there. Dang it, I shouldn't have said that. We're giving them goods. These big guys. Try to try to figure out. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Dude, look how much HP he's got. Oh, there we go. Ooh, got a red crystal. What's this? White stone. Artifact must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. Got a broken sword. Are these are artifacts? Oh my gosh. Wow, that was close. What the? the thing consumed me. I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> Need to find some HP. Alright. Maybe there's something in here. No. I wanted to whack that. Okay, so we've searched that side. Let's heal up a little bit things out too bad to take care of oh dang we 
just lost that item. Okay, let's continue through here. What in the world? Okay, so the red stuff just kind of makes us slow down. What are these things? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, get wrecked. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hardened steel foundry rests. Okay. No more. Each pinery thing I can grab. Reckon I can survive one more room. Oh, what have I done? Oh no. What in the world? How do you kill these things? Let's get out of here. Oh, what? Using the pendant takes up coin. 200 coin. Well, I guess we're gonna pay for using it in some matter of ways. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and purchase this well, not purchase, but fund this uh, potion place. Because we need to buy some potions. We have 30 coins. Okay. Well, I think I'll be ending the episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the game so far. Now, next episode, we will try and sell a few more things to get some good old cash before heading over to the uh, the new merchant that just arrived in town hopefully we can buy some more potions so we can last longer in those dungeons I think eventually I'll start to get used to the uh, the combat it's a bit strange to start off with but I think I'll get there eventually but yes I'm actually enjoying this game quite a lot I like the aesthetics it's quite pleasing to the guy and the story is quite straightforward, but you know, it's good to have games like this where it's not overly complicated or anything. But anyways, don't forget to hit the like button, share a comment, and subscribe to keep up to date on my new content. Once again, I'd like to thank you for tuning into my channel and for checking this video out. And I'll be catching you in my next episode. In my next Moonlighter episode. Peace.